Hey guys, I'm Rocky Dwarf 3000 here, and today I'm going to do a review on Sausage Party. Came the year of 2016. So basically, what the plot is: we have we have hot we have these packages of hot dogs named Frank, Barry, Carl, and basically, um, Frank is fell in love with a with a hot dog bun named Brenda, and then. Basically, they thought that the Great Beyond was amazing. For some reason, some guy um returned on um, honey mustard because he thought it was an actual mustard. And basically, um, honey mustard told everyone that the Great Beyond is bullshit. And basically, he fall to fell to his death. And and then basically, um, douche was so pissed off at. Frank, because he didn't go to the Great Beyond, and then basically he was injured, so he drank some juice, and he became more stronger, and and the color of him, he turned green, and then basically later that night, um, the lady who purchased um the hot dogs like Carl and and Barry, all the food died. And then, and then, but sadly, the girl um killed Carl. So Frank went and Frank went to Firewater and thought that the Great Beyond was bullshit. And basically, he basically Carl didn't believe him at at at, at first until he saw a cookbook of all the food of all the people killing each other. So it's up to Frank, Carl, Barry, and the rest of the food game to defeat the gods, aka the people, and that's what basically what the plot is. What can I think about this movie? What a funny movie. This movie was so freaking funny. And on top of that, you guys, I saw this movie in the theaters, actually. That's why I saw the Sausage Party in the theaters, which I saw this movie... It's basically, I saw my best friend Santi, and on top of that, we saw this movie on our own, actually. That's right. We saw this movie on our own. I didn't even see this movie with my brother. I didn't even see this movie with my parents. I didn't even see this movie with my best friend's parents. I saw this movie with just me and my best friend Santi all by ourselves. Well, basically, there was one... We got out of this movie very late. I'll tell you why. Because in the scene where um the lady was killing the food, in the scene when um the lady killed Carl, the the movie screen went all crazy. It was chasing cars and all that. So basically, me and my best friend Santi went in up to tell a manager that there was something wrong with the movie screen in theater number five. And yes, that was the movie theater that we were when we saw this movie, Sausage Party. So basically, right after that, the screen went black for 20 minutes, and then a janitor came in and said, we're so sorry for the Tefano difficult goatees. This showing has been canceled. And we were pissed off. We were pissed off. So basically, but the good thing is, I got my money back, and we saw the 10... 15 p.m. showing of Sausage Party, and one hour before the 10:15 showing started, I call my mom on my phone and tell her that the Sausage Party has been canceled because there was something wrong with the screen. We were like right in the middle of the movie and froze, and then my mom said, "Oh, okay, uh oh, okay, okay, thank you for the notice." So basically, we saw the 10:15 p.m. showing of Sausage Party, and once we got back to the part that we left off in the scene when the girl killed Carl. We thought there was going to be not any problems, and guess what? It wasn't. But there was actually one scene that made me want to see a sequel to Sausage Party, and that is this scene. This scene right here made me want to see a sequel to Sausage Party. That will allow us to travel to their dimension. Fuck yeah, you did. It's dope. This guy's smart. I mean, like, fuck a guy's smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Anyway, we're gonna go to this other dimension and cut the strings once and for all. Anybody want to hear before we do this? You ready to 
get baked and walk through Gum Stargate with me? As long as we're together, I'm ready to get baked and do anything. Okay, now after watching this scene and the scene when they went to the real people's dimension, that made me want to see a sequel to Salt's Party. But it hasn't been announced yet, but I really want to see a sequel to Salt's Party. So yeah, right after watching that scene in the movie theater, in the scene where the food went to the went inside the portal to the real people's dimension, that made me want to see a sequel to Sausage Party. Well, basically, but sadly, this movie has Sausage Party Two has not been announced yet. But I wish Seth Rogen will make a sequel to Sausage Party. Because I because that movie was so funny. So what can I think about this movie? Oh wait, oh wait, sorry, I forgot one more thing. And also and also I forgot one part of the story. They have to defeat the gods and also they have to kill douche as well. I forgot that scene. So what can I think about this movie? What a great movie! I gotta tell you, this was a great Movie and on top of that you guys this was my second Seth Rogen R-rated movie actually That's right. This was my second R-rated Seth Rogen movie I saw in the theaters because the first R-rated movie I saw was Ted The second R-rated movie I saw in the theaters was A Million Ways to Die in the West Third R-rated movie was Ted 2 I mean not Ted 2 um Third R-rated movie was Neighbors Fourth R-rated movie was Ted 2, and my fifth movie was Sausage Party, my sixth movie was Deadpool, and my seventh movie was Deadpool 2, which I will do a review on those very, very soon, but I'm trying to get all the reviews done so that way I can do my my last two extreme rants, and that's the Christopher Robin movie and the Teen Fuckers Go movie. So anyways, what can I think about this movie? What a great film! To be honest with you guys, this movie, it's a funny R-rated comedy animation movie. I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Go watch this movie. And my next review is going to be Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, The Three Musketeers. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.